Here in this question, we are asked to find the length of line QR. And they say PQRS is a parallelogram. Line PS bisects line RT and line PQ equals 8 centimeters. This is actually a very simple question. There are many procedures you can use to solve this problem, but definitely we can only use one procedure at once. So, so before we continue, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification for this channel so that you will be notified when a new video is uploaded. Thanks. So now, how can we find the length of line QR? From this triangle here, we can find the length of line QR if we have the length of one of the two other sides and the angle facing them. So let's go back to the data here. The first data we are given here is that PQRS is a parallelogram. So what is a parallelogram? A parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which opposite sides are parallel and equal. So this implies that this line here is equal to this line because they are opposite to each other. And hence line RS also equals to 8 centimeters. So now, from this, they say line PS bisects line RT, meaning line PS divides line RT into two equal halves, and hence, this is a midpoint of line RT. So now we can say line RS equal to line ST. And therefore, this line ST also equals to 8 centimeters. Now, since this is 8 centimeters and this is 8 centimeters, line RT will be equal to 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters, which is 16 centimeters. So now we have the length of line RT. To find the length of line QR from this triangle, we still need the size of this angle here and also this angle here. So what are the sizes of the angles? This is given as 3x and this 2x. What are the sides of this particular angle here? If you recall, since PQRS is a parallelogram, and in the parallelogram, opposite angles are also equal. And if you look here, this angle is opposite to this here, and hence this is also equal to 4x. So now, since this is 3x, this 2x, and this 4x, we can form an equation that 3x plus 2x plus 4x equal to 180 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle equals to 180. Now, 3x plus 2x plus 4x is 9x, so 9x equal to 180 degree. Making x the subject of the formula, we divide both sides by 9. So here 9 cancels 9. And here, 180 degree divided by 9 is 20 degree. So x equal to 20 degree. So now, we found x to be 20. So substituting x equal to 20 here, 3x will be equal to 3 times 20, which is 60 degree. Here, 2x will be equal to 2 times 20, which is 40 degree. And here also, 4x will be equal to 4 times 20, which is 80 degree. So now, since we have the sizes of the angles, and also the length of this line here. To find the length of line QR using the sine rule, 16 over sine 60 degree will be equal to line QR over sine 40 degree. Making line QR the subject of the formula, line QR equal to 16 over sine 60 times sine 40 degree. Sine 60 degree is 0 0.866 and sine 40 degree is 0 0.6428. So now, line QR equal to 16 over 0 0.866 times 0 0.6428. Press your calculator. Line QR equal to 11.8762, which approximately equal to 11.9. So we'll find the length of line QR to be equal to 11.9 centimeters.